Hi guys, in this video, I am going to solve one of the difficult problems in this year's prelims paper using optional elimination techniques, guys. Let us read at this optional elimination technique I have already shared in the YouTube. You can before the prelims examination, you can go and you can watch that uh, YouTube video, guys. This optional elimination technique is called name play. Okay, name play. Okay, guys, let us see how UPSC uses this optional elimination technique to frame questions and how can you solve this. Uh, solve many questions using this uh, technique guys let us read this question which of the following which of the following are nitrogen fixing plants okay guys alpha alpha i don't know alpha alpha amar na amra abrant i don't know this also guys i know what is chicken pea it is given in ncrt guys i know what is chicken pea it is given in ncrt this is a nitrogen fixing plant i know this so i am solving using uh, considering I'm an average student, I'm not an agriculture expert, I'm not a science expert, I'm an average student. How can I use my optional elimination tricks, which I have discovered, and use them in the exam hall and solve most of the questions of the UPSC guys? Let us see. So I know only this. I don't know this. I don't know this. I don't know this. Okay, I don't know this. Spinach is. I know spinach. I know what is spinach, but I don't know spinach is nitrogen fixing or not. Okay, I don't know. I'm I'm confused. But here I know this chicken pea is the uh, right answer uh, right chicken pea is pakka nitrogen fixing plant okay i know this okay guys but spinach i am confused okay guys so if i see if i see three so we can eliminate this and we can eliminate this so most of the candidates this year most of the candidates this year they will be stuck with a and b they will be stuck with a and b and they don't know they should go with a or they should go with b they will say 50 50 britannia 50 50 okay guys let us see how can we make 50 into 100 so there is a technique which is called name play upsc uses this what they do generally the same sounding words the same sounding words they will create two different words and they cannot be true together they cannot be true together so here you see upsc has used the word alpha alpha and here upsc has word used kulfa guys alpha alpha you see alpha and you see kulfa guys upsc could have easily upsc could have easily okay you see here upsc could have easily written only pulse name why did upsc give you this trick okay why does upsc give you this trick kulfa because alpha and kulfa cannot be true together don't laugh guys okay seriously this is very serious i know you are laughing inside okay guys <laughs> even i am laughing guys but problem is that this is the technique and UPSC uses this technique guys that is why you see UP I have said that time also okay many people say that ha, are you joking many people said that time also are you kidding guys but no really I am not joking guys I am telling the truth okay this is a technique two sound name play it's called name play okay two same sounding words okay two same sounding words cannot be together and at least one of them will be in the answer at least one of them will be in the answer so we are left with this option and we are left with this option so you see here 1 and 5 cannot be together so 1 and 5 cannot be together so answer is A so answer is A guys do you think this is amazing guys do you think this is amazing if you think this is amazing guys please hit the like button please comment please do you want more videos to come I can tell you I can solve more than 10, 15 questions, 20 questions with using optional elimination and little bit of knowledge little bit of knowledge also here we must know what is chicken pea and if you do not know what is chicken pea and why chicken pea is a nitrogen fixing then you should stop preparing for the civil services guys okay guys uh, I'm telling you frankly uh, so with this knowledge with this knowledge and with my optional elimination trick the, the problem guys is that most of the candidates most of the candidate okay they don't practice this because there is no question available no practice test available where you can apply this optional event trick because most of the people they don't know these tricks okay they don't know tricks guys i have told you i have already shared and you see all those tricks are working in the prelims 2022 i have shared these tricks before the exam and you see guys Okay, name play. Okay, two same sounding words cannot be true together. You see, alpha and kulfa. Why this? Why why has to UPSC mention kulfa here? They can just mention this now. Why it is giving you a hint? See, UPSC wants to help you. The question setter wants to help you, guys. But the problem is because of your negative attitude, you don't want to be get help. There was a person writing on somewhere in Quora that no technique of Santosh sir is working, guys. If it is not working, then you see one question I saw just before that, you and this question, and again I'm coming with one question. These are questions. What a kind of what? What is this? This is not optional elimination, guys. Guys, 
I'm, I'm solving all with my previous tricks. I'm not solving new trick. I'm not discovering new trick. This I have shared already. If you remember hot and cold, hot and cold technique. Okay, one question in the previous year. Okay, the asphalt wala, asphalt wala, carbon footprint. If you remember, go and you see the video. So these guys, they are creating a propaganda just to create fear in the minds of the aspirants. See, prelims is doable, guys. Prelims is doable, provided you master these techniques. I have mastered these techniques and I have cracked all six times. How can someone crack all six times? Because he has mastered the technique and this is a science. And I can teach this science to you guys if you are sincere. If you have a negative attitude inside, obviously you cannot learn. No one can help you if you're not willing to be helped, guys. So if you like it, please hit the like button. Thank you guys. Thank you for the support. And I will come out with various videos. I guys, this year I have predicted 70 questions. Can you imagine 70 questions? The cutoff will not go more than 85 this year. Okay. And if you see, if you had these 70 questions, guys, 85 is nothing, nothing. 85 is nothing. You could have scored 120, guys. 70 questions I have predicted this year. You go and you see the Telegram channel. You go and you see the DPN. You go and you see the DPN compilation, guys, and the test. More than 70 questions this year, guys. And uh, really amazing. I'm thankful to God. Okay, this means what? We are able to think like the UPSC. See, there is a saying. There is a saying, guys, that if you know yourself, if you know yourself, and if you don't know the enemy, if you know yourself, and if you don't know the enemy, you can, okay, win sometimes. You can win sometimes but if you know yourself and you know your enemy also then you can win all the times so how i was able to win all the times i know myself i know my strength i know my weaknesses and i know the strength and weaknesses of examination setter also once you know this guys no one can stop you thank you friends thank you and please do comment in the comment box if you need more videos thank you bye bye take care